Some of the bolts need to come out before we can mount it to the engine stand. There are these four larger bolts here uh, that go into the intermediate uh, pan and this seal needs to come off because the the stand is right up against it. And here's one of these bolts that's been changed. It's different than the others. So I just want you to see that. The seal is only just seeping a little bit so it was holding really good. Also mentioned that this second bolt from the right was halfway tight. Here's that odd one. I don't know what I'm going to find, but this bolt was just really tight. I had to use a hammer on this end wrench to shake it loose. It's coming out hard all the way. Well, it's getting a little easier now. I'm guessing somebody over tightened the stock bolt, twisted her out, and then had to re uh, rethread it. Looked like a new bolt inside. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, somebody's been in here before. Didn't look like they drilled the case, the sealed case out, just threaded the bolt through it. Yeah. And I've been noticing that there's uh, some leakage, some oily material on the back of the injection pump, and I think it's the seal on the end of the fuel shutoff shaft. Uh, just wanted to make a note before I take it apart. So I'm going to use some one sixteenth solder, which actually turns out a little over sixty one thousandths. I'm going to cut three pieces, just a short half inch long. We're going to put put one here, one here, and one here. And we'll be putting the head back on and torquing it down. with the original head gasket. There's just a little bump when the pistons come up against the head. This wire soft. I might bend those just a little bit so they don't roll. I'll do that. That one's already kind of bent. That one is too. So are those. Well, just a little kink in it. Set the head back on and see how everything works. Oops. I was going to try to leave the head gasket on. Nice to have the head bolt numbers painted on the head bolts, so we'll put those back in the way they go. Okay, for the first round, we're going to set our wrench to 15 newton meters, which is 
what they recommend for the first round. And for the test sequence, I'm going to run it up to 35 foot-pounds. That'll be enough for what we're wanting to do here. It's really handy having those numbers pointed painted on there. And by the way, I'm using a snap-on QJR2100E. And you always want to remember to turn her back to zero when you're not using it. Now we're going to turn the engine over a couple of revolutions. It's 180. Another 180, so 360. Another 180. And now we'll take the head back off and see what we found. Okay, with the head bolts out, I'll try to pick her up square and some of them might get stuck to the piston, some of them may be stuck to the head. So here we go. Alright, I'll begin with uh, cylinder three. Try to get it down here you could so you can see what I'm measuring. Thirty five thousandths. And it looks like uh, quite a bit of oil has been leaking out of this front main. Uh, so. These two pan bolts were loose. This one was tight and that one was tight. Also, these two bolts were connected but they weren't torqued. Okay, I'll <clears throat> take you along as we take out number two piston. It's the next one that's ready to go. Pretty good ring groove. I can't see back in here. There. There's the first look at number two. Okay, we'll run number one up. Just using a wooden dowel and a hammer.
Okay. There's number one. And now number three. Well, I've got to say that it just turns over really easy. It's like there's nothing there. <clears throat> it's just a little bit tricky to get make sure that the rod is in the center of the cylinder. Okay. There's number three. Not that it's <clears throat> not that it's necessary. Not that it's necessary. I like to uh, record these some of these bolts that I'm taking loose just to make sure that they were torqued. These are 14 millimeter. Here's your mains. That was good and tight. Also. All right, so they all look good. This is the number one main cap and insert, and I see quite a bit of wear here in the center of it. So using the plastic gauge, um, pretty well, I'll check with this. I'm trying to do it with the camera too. That's at six thousandths, there's five, so it's, in that point, we've got six thousand, so we're going to need a mic crank for sure. Of course, that insert's worn out. And there's the plastic gauge on the crank journal. <clears throat> 